Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dominique. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. So in today's video, I'm doing this makeup look. It's a holiday party makeup look. So if you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. Starting off with my brows, I'm using the NYX Cream Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in the color Dark Brown. If you want a more in-depth brow tutorial, I do have a video on that and I'll link it in the description box below. To define and shape my eyebrows a little more, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I'll blend that out using my e.l.f. blending brush and continue blending until the sharp concealer line is gone. I'm also going to prime and conceal my eyelids to prep a good base for my eyeshadows. And make sure to blend everything out. Next, I'm using my NYX Warm Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. They have some really pretty colors, both matte and shimmers. And I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to apply it. I'm taking this light taupe color and applying it all over my lid as my base. What I don't like about the palette is to get the most pigment out of the colors, I had to wet my brushes a little bit. Taking the e.l.f. eye crease brush and this light brown color, I'm applying the eyeshadow mainly in my crease area as my first transition color. My second transition color in my crease is this deep cranberry color. In order to get that gradient eyeshadow effect, you have to layer colors light to dark with a light hand. I'm using the same crease brush, but make sure to wipe off your brush in between each color. Next color is a darker cranberry. I'm continuing to use similar colors with a darker shade to build the ombre effect. The final crease color is this dark purple, which is also my darkest color. When applying, I'm going to lightly push the brush a little deeper into my crease to get more product in that specific area. Moving on, I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush with this bronze gold shimmer. I did have to dampen that brush a little bit to get this pigment, but it turned out well. So I continue to pat and sweep the eyeshadow on my lids. I wanted my eyelids to pop a little more, so I added a lighter champagne gold on top, also focusing on the inner corners of my eyes. We are sticking to this color scheme. I'm taking this shimmer cranberry and applying that to the outer corner of my eyes and brushing it inwards towards the center of my eyelids and stopping there. I love this color. Since I lost a little bit of that champagne gold, I'm adding more starting from the inner corner to the center of my lid, also adding more dark purple in the crease. To blend out the shadows, I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush, and for my lower lash line, I'm applying the same dark purple that I used on my crease along with the darker cranberry. I also added the champagne gold to highlight my brow bone. For my eyeliner, I'm applying it to my top lash line and waterline to give the appearance of full lashes. Since I don't like wearing false lashes because they feel uncomfortable, this is my little trick. Then I move on to adding the wing line very slowly to make my eyes look lifted. Taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Eyelash Primer to give my lashes length before adding mascara, this really does make my lashes look longer. I wish I could find it in a clear coat instead of white, but I love this product. Can you guys see the difference? Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the color Very Black, and I add about one to two coats. And if you mess up, just use a Q-tip to clean it up. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. Mineral Primer, applying it all over my face as a barrier between my skin and makeup. It also smooths out my skin so my makeup glides on easily. To color correct, I'm using NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette in the color palette Deep. I'm using the color orange and applying it with my Equal Tools Concealer Brush to color correct the darker areas such as around my mouth, my nose, under my eyes, and some parts of my forehead, and then blending it out. For foundation, I'm using Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream in the color 8918 Chocolate. Applying it with a damp beauty sponge, this is by far the best foundation I've used. It's lightweight and the only one i found that is a close match to my skin tone. 
Taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, using it not only to conceal, but to also brighten certain areas of my face and to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow. Using the same NYX palette, I'm taking the dark brown to contour the hollows of my cheeks located right under my cheekbones, my jawline, the sides of my chin, my forehead along my hairline, and my nose. This highlight and contour process really just helps to add dimension back to your face after you've added foundation. Take the beauty sponge and blend. This will take a little time to make sure you have no sharp lines and everything is blended seamlessly. Make sure to extend the makeup onto your neck for a smooth transition. If you're wearing a turtleneck, then don't worry about that part, but otherwise, always include your neck in your makeup process. To set my concealer, I'm using the Black Radiance Translucent Press Powder in the color 8620. Taking a triangular sponge to apply it because of the sharp edges, it makes it easier to be precise. To set my contour, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me 360 Shade Press Powder in the color Mocha. Applying it with the other side of the same triangular sponge, and I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. To set my entire face, I'm using L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color N8 Cappuccino. Taking Black Radiance Artisan Color Baked Blush in the color Toasted Almond and applying it with my Equal Tools Blush Brush. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. I don't wanna miss out on the holiday, but I can't stop staring at your face. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe with you, shawty with you, with you, shawty with you. For highlight, I'm using NYX Illuminator in the color Magnetic, applying it with my e.l.f. angled brush. Let it Oh, come over here and help me trim the 
lips with Jordana Lip Liner in the color Coco Loco. Make sure to moisturize your lips prior to starting. For lips, I'm taking ColourPop's Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Lax. Then taking Milani lipstick in the color 42 Rose Femme. It's a rosy satin finish. I'm applying it to the center of my lips for an ombre effect. To set my face, I'm using the e.l.f. setting spray. And this is the final look. If you watched my last video, my crochet braiding video, I'll link that down in the description box if you missed it. I cut the hair and this is how it turned out. I really, really like it. Exactly what I was looking for. So if you missed that video, go check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.